how are you guys doing? Hold on, girl. I'm going to put some hand sanitizer on. I'm having my me time outside of the house this morning. It is Sunday morning. I stopped by Starbucks. Now, normally, I don't do Starbucks, but I'm coming to get a feel on my nails. Girl, my nails are beyond feel. My sister did these nails for me about a month ago, and this one's actually loose, so yeah. Anyway, I'm at the nail salon here, but this is like a little plaza, and um that's a starbucks here hold on y'all mm, that's good <laughs> and i got me a little cranberry thingy to eat while i wait for the nail salon to open up now i figured i'll chat with y'all now look um y'all i am a very i how i am on here is how i am in person i'm a very bubbly uh oh hey oh I'm a very bubbly person, but I'm still an introvert. So when I mean bubbly, like on one-on-one, -on -one. so I'm a type of person that I get to know people who work at the grocery stores, who work at the stores on a name basis. And so um, I'm right here at the Tom Thumb and they have the Starbucks here. Hold on, let me bite into this thing. Mmm, this is so good. Anyway. A couple of days ago, I received a card, Christmas card, and it was like, Happy Holidays from Lisa and Frank. I'm like, who is this? And I'm going through the roller dicks in my mind, right? I'm thinking, I haven't really gone anywhere to meet any new people unless it's been over my girl, my best friend's house. My best friend has been having, they have house parties every now and then, or gatherings, and I go over there. You know, and I'm like, okay, did I get drunk and get somebody my address? <laughs> but then I looked at the bottom and it said Lisa from Tom Thumb Heath. So I've been coming up here. I normally don't shop at Tom Thumb, but every now and then I drop in because JB School is literally right around the corner. So every now and then I drop in. And so I forgot I had given her my address like two or three weeks ago meaning last month and so I finally saw her in there and I'm like did you send me a, a Christmas card she's like yeah I said well thank you that was sweet I'm actually gonna come back in here and go grocery shopping because I got a little things to get but y'all a couple of <laughs> uh doing that same time a couple of weeks ago she had approached me and, and I think she she may be uh, an, an assistant manager and so she had approached me with another manager and she's like, you know, you have a really good personality. Would you consider working here? And I looked at her, I'm like, I have a job, actually. I, I said, that's sweet of you. She's like, no, it's okay. We're looking for part-time work. I said, that's sweet, but I really can't do um, work like that, y'all. I can't do physical work, meaning since I've been working from home all this time, I can't do physical work like that. And I've had jobs like that, meaning I've, I used to work at Davis Bridal. God, I've had all types of jobs. I've had jobs where I was a bank teller where you had to be on your feet the entire shift. I was a phlebotomist. I was a medical transcriptionist. I have done, I mean, just about everything. I worked in a um, telemarketing company, but it's always been, I've always had multiple jobs. There's never been a time up until actually when I got pregnant with JB is when I didn't have multiple jobs, but I've always had some type of side job, some type of, like I, I am right now, I'm doing con consulting work, some type of side job, side hustle, always. But anyway, point being is that I've gotten to the age where I can't do that. And I know she's older than me, so God bless her, but I can't physically do a part-time job. Um. So y'all, let me tell y'all what we have going on. So I get, like I said, I get excited. It gets really busy for me personal wise, but work, it kind of slows down for work, thank God. But I am one of those type of moms to where I do as much as possible because I'm all about creating memories for my child. We had uh, created beautiful memories when we were in, in Phoenix for JB. Um, we spent a lot of time with our neighbors and our extended family, quote unquote, is what I call it. Because when COVID hit, we got really close to one of our neighbors and we spent 
every major holiday with them. But now that we're here in Texas, we're able to spend that time with our family. So of course we had Thanksgiving. My husband's family came over for Thanksgiving. They really liked the food. Done, child, I am done. I was recording this entire time and forgot to hit record. Now I'm making sure, yeah, it's recording, girl. But y'all, it's Friday, it's Friday, and I'm ready to sing, swing, off key. Y'all, it's Friday, I'm so glad it's Friday, it's been a busy week. Um, we have a lot going on for today, so excited. Um, they're gonna be having like, it is so different having this type of HOA with some of the newer um, neighborhoods. If your HOA is on point, they'll do this, but if your HOA is pretty with it, they tend to have like gatherings. And so we're having a Christmas extravaganza here in our neighborhood later on tonight. It starts late, like 6.30, child. But look, they're going to be having food trucks. They're going to be having bouncy houses, stuff for the kids to make cookies. I emailed my text message to my best friend. I'm like, girl, come bring the kids. And so she's going to be busy cooking, but she, her husband's going to bring their kids so that they can play with JB. And so I'm excited. We're going to do it later on tonight. I'm not cooking. I'm going to tell my husband... You can either eat, eat at the food truck or order you something. I'm going to eat at the food truck. My husband's a little bougie when it comes to food trucks. Maybe I should be too. Isn't this beautiful, you guys? This is what the tree looks like. And it's it's pretty tall. This is where my hand goes up and it goes all the way up there. And yeah, this is me, child. So this is a seven and a half foot tree that goes all the way up here. JB and I decorated. Look at JB when he was a baby. Look at Jebby. Look at those little dimple arms. Oh, Vicky, baby. <laughs> I already got some presents up in there. Let me tell you something. I'm very creative, but I can't wrap presents with shit. I wrap these presents like he ordered two pounds of chuck meat. It is what it is, girl. So I love some of these decorations. Look at this. I got these from, this is so cute. JB turned them around because he's afraid of them. <laughs> I got these from um, Target a couple of years ago. I think they are adorable. And of course, I have my Black Angel and Santa Claus over there. That Santa always looks upset. Let me go closer to it, you guys. I got my nativity scene, not nativity scene, my um, everything out here, my village. Look, I was fit to be tired because I hadn't checked my Christmas decoration, of course, since we left Phoenix and nearly all of my houses were broken. I was able to just find some little bitty houses at Walmart. The houses I had, you guys, were very nice though. They were big houses. It is what it is. I can get them back again. So here's my black Santa. And here is my angel. So yes, y'all, I love this time of the year. It is such a good time. All right, y'all, let me get my phone on. Hi, y'all. I was in the... um guest bathroom throwing away child decluttering my makeup i'm literally in throwing away 30 to 40 different things of makeup now i wanted to show you guys my some of the stuff that i got more stuff that i got for myself for christmas i already um did a little video on it but some stuff came in today still coming in child and i ended up getting some boots i'm gonna show you what those look like in a minute y'all like my nails my christmas nails these are cute huh they look cute now Maybe because I'm a little bit ghetto. I'm, I'm a little hood. There's a little, I know, no, I'm a little ghetto. I'm not hood. There's a little ghetto in me. They charge me for long nails. In my opinion, this is, don't, don't laugh at me. This is short, medium to me, you guys. This is not long. Look at that. This is not, this is not long. This is short, medium, but whatever. Um, this is a purse I got from Amazon. It cost me less than $30. $28 is all it costs. Now, baby, these boots. Look at these boots, y'all. First off, above the knee. Super comfortable. Look at the design. It has great fabric. You can see up close to it. Already getting some little like glitter and stuff. It's okay. Look at this. Great quality. I look at the heel to make sure, okay, ain't nothing gonna come off. Great rubber here. Great grip. Got these. You won't believe it. Fries, child, a.k.a. Kroger's. Got these at Fries, and they were 60 You can't. I don't have the price. 65 but right now, they're 50% off. So, yes, girl, 
$32, like $32, $33. And they are very, very comfortable. I'm going to show y'all what they look like in next week's vlog when we go to the Anatol. So, y'all, that is pretty much it for this vlog. Yeah. Justin's so lost. He's like, how do I do this? Do you see him? Ellen, Caleb, Pineapple. Nora asked, are you going to join my party? This is hilarious. It's Yeah, it is. Um, but we connected. But it's funny.